Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my pre-release experience. I did casual and there was only two rounds and if you stuck for two rounds you essentially got eight packs. The eight packs I'll open in another channel but I wanted to show you some of the cards and my sealed pool for that particular. So I did trade for these two. I actually, someone right next to me pulled another rare a foil mythic but this was my seal pool of notables. I black red was very very good in this set. I actually went red. I went red, blue, and these were the cards I got. So I got another bird. These were other cards that I got previously. So so far not too bad, and we're gonna go ahead. And why don't we just open a fat pack now? I'm going to pass out soon anyway. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to open a lot more packs for you. I'm looking for pretty much an expedition. I think that's kind of greedy, but hey, sometimes it's okay to be greedy. Okay, so we'll zoom in a little bit and we'll see what we can get. Seek the Wild. Nettle Drone was a lot better than I expected. Uh, stone, I actually had four of these in my pre-release kit and that was pretty crazy. I had a lot of these. I did not get this one. Um, seems pretty good. Pilgrim's Eye. Dust Stalker number two. So this is our second Dust Stalker, which is interesting card. It might see play. I think it's not bad. Five free of haste. Seems pretty good to me. I did get the one card I really wanted, which was uh, Draena. Draena was the only card I actually wanted. This card is very good with uh, Siege Rhino. And Training Coils. Most of the Adrazi are pretty good. I didn't get this as removal. Grove Spawning Bed. And from beyond. Ooh, and we got Invoker. So this would actually have been very good limited. I was hoping I got another Fireball Bird, but... Uh, this card is very interesting. From Beyond, free and a green, devoid. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a 1-1 colorless Adrazi Scion creature token onto the battlefield. It has sacrificed this creature, add one to your mana pool. One in a green, sacrifice from Beyond, search your library for a Adrazi card, review it, put review it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. So this is a very interesting card. I don't know if it's gonna see play, but it produces a lot of tokens. It's probably very good and limited. So I like these land. Love the Zendikar is all about the land. Ooh, Devastator. This one is again very good. Uh, whenever a creature attacks his turn against Lifelink, Awaken. Awaken is pretty good on that card. Drowner of Hope, which is a pretty epic limited card. Drowner of Hope is one of the cards that you really hope you pull. It is a 5-5 five five that can tap down creatures and has seven power on it. Because it can tap, you get two 1-1 one one tokens with it, which you can sacrifice to tap down creatures. Overall, very, very good card. I like this set. I feel like this set was a little weak and I did mention that, but now that I have had the ability to play in limited, it's a great limited set. A lot of these cards are not amazing. Like. Funder is probably one of the best cards. And we get the, what is this one? The black, oh, this is not, I'm thinking, it's late. I'm thinking, why doesn't this uh, have the uh, Plains uh, Swamp archetype, but it's the enemy land. I think the enemy, enemy lands are very good and a safe place to trade into right now. Enemy lands are always very useful. Let's actually take a look at this one. This one, is not bad, it gives you lifelink, and it's not bad. I would play it. I definitely would play that land. Inspired Charge was really good. That card I don't really know too. Evolving Wild is back. Emissary, so this card is very interesting. Pilgrim's Eye again. Aligned Hedron Network. So let's take a look at this card. Uh, whenever a line Hedron Network enters the battlefield, exile all creatures with power 5 or greater until a line Hedron Network leaves the battlefield. This one is very interesting. 
Uh, it is a RAF effect for four, and you don't see that, but it is a limited RAF effect, so I don't know, it seems okay. Plummet is back. Tandem Tactic was very good. This card was House. Ooh, I love this card. This card's very good. I would love to play him in Motables. Bring to Light number two. And we have two packs left, and then I'll go over all the notable cards that I've opened or I currently own from this set. I'm hoping to pull something pretty epic here. This card is the best in Limited. It's so good. It does so much in Limited. Chasm Guide is very good. Shrine of the... For, for, what is this? It looks like... Add one to your mana pool, add two to your mana pool, spend the mana only to cast colorless spells, activate the ability if you control seven or more land. Wow. Um, huh. I don't know if that's playable. But uh, last pack. <laughs> last pack. Let's hope for something epic. Uh, I really would like something pretty cool in this pack. Blighted st Stepede is pretty good. Hero of Goma Fada, and this is the ally that gives other allies indestructibility. So this is definitely the ally that you want if you're going to make that deck. Uh, will he see standard play? I don't know. It seems pretty good. I mean, when you play him, it gives everyone indestructibility, which seems pretty good. So let's go over these eight packs. Uh, if, I think the best card from the pack was probably... From Beyond, I feel like is a good card, and the obviously the sampling event will be pretty cool. So it's nice to see um, the diversity. Obviously, I think our first our first box, if you will, our f first uh, set was far superior to anything else we got. Um, later on, uh, obviously, when I mean this five is kind of nice because I actually need them for MTG Lion. But uh, definitely the princess is, I need, I over, I'm very happy I was able to trade for this card. This was the only card I was interested in getting, minus the expeditions. And before people ask, no, no one pulled an expedition. I was ready to over trade for them should they have been pulled, but they didn't pull it. So I love this set. I think this set is very good. I'm very excited to open more of it. And I would recommend, you know, I definitely recommend you guys uh, buying or going to pre-release. Pre-release is a very good time, and I, I had a good time meeting friends. I only played two rounds, which sounds ridiculous, but it's a very small, very casual pre-release, and that's exactly what I was looking for. So anyway, I had a blast. Bye, guys.